we step into the heart of New Orleans and take a look at one of Marriott's best properties in the city, the JW Marriott New Orleans. Stay tuned. been coming to New Orleans about eight times per year since 2017 for Saints football games. The majority of our stays have been at various Marriott properties across the city. This year we've been reviewing what we think are the top properties in New Orleans. So far we've covered the Ritz Carlton New Orleans, the Marriott New Orleans on Canal Street, the W French Quarter, the Westin, and today we cover the JW Marriott on Canal Street. All these hotels are within blocks of each other. If you're coming to New Orleans and want to stay at a Marriott property, check out the New Orleans playlist as this contains reviews on what we think are top properties in New Orleans. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time watching this channel, we've been visiting New Orleans since 2017 for Saints football games. And this year we are reviewing all the top Marriott properties in the city, taking into account the location, status benefits for Bonvoy members. And if you're coming to New Orleans, highly recommend that you check out some of those other videos so you can make your best decision on which Marriott property to stay. On this visit, we are going to the JW Marriott. This has been one of our favorite properties for previous years. And we kind of saved the best for last for this trip. One of the things about New Orleans getting to your hotel is that taking Uber and Lyft is not always the cheapest, best option. Cabs here in the city charge $36 flat rate for two people to get from the airport to French Quarter and downtown hotels. A lot of times when we come in on a Saturday, surge prices is into effect. And we've seen our ride on Uber and Lyft cost up to 70 bucks. Our ride right now is $34. Is that Uber or Lyft? On Uber, so that's a good deal. So we're gonna be taking Uber today. And when you get outside the airport, if you're taking Uber, you'll wanna get on the line on the right. And if you're taking Lyft, the line's on your left. And if you wanna take a cab, the line's gonna be all the way to the left. We are checked into the JW Marriott. We were checked in by this lovely woman named Anne Marie. She was as friendly as could be, thanked us for our loyalty, went over all the benefits, we're upgraded to a corner room. We're in room 2103. I am in the lounge right now, which is part of the benefits here. Uh, they have some snacks and stuff, and we haven't even gone to the room yet, but I just kind of wanted to see what it was like in here, and then we'll go up to the room. Let's take a look at what they have in this lounge during the day. So there's regular coffee and decaf available there's also this pretty cool machine to make espressos cappuccinos you have decaf and espresso options there's a fridge down here fridge has sodas pepsi mountain dew crush you don't ever see crush there's snacks available what do we have here some pretzels yogurt chocolates jelly beans wow. different types types of trail mix oatmeal cream pies and right over here there's some yogurts hiding at the top i don't know if they just forgot to take those out or they are supposed to be out here during the day this lobby is like really beautiful two stories the lighting is phenomenal the lounge is indeed impressive but there was no water to be found anywhere in the lounge which was odd and while the snack selection in the evening was nice it pales in comparison with the lounge located right across the street at the marriott which provides a full spread of appetizers in the evening i hear a pool table i think joel is upstairs playing pool this is a really nice lounge isn't it this is a beautiful lounge, especially the second part upstairs. So if you gotta wait for your flight and you have a late checkout, come up here and hang out. According to the hotel website, evening hors d'oeuvres are indeed served Sunday through Thursday and breakfast is served seven days a week, Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and Saturdays and Sundays from 7.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Joel looks like he's really into his pool game. I guess you don't wanna go to the room? Very short walk to the room, room 2103. So 
So this is what they call corner larger room. It's an upgrade. So it's just a little bit more spacious. For working, you have multiple outlets on the side. Very nice and comfortable leather chair. They give you two waters, complimentary here. We have a fridge. It's pretty cool. What do we have over here? We have a safe and we have a roll rollout Nespresso machine. So on this side, you just have a nightstand. And then over here on this side, you have actually have two drawers. Let's do a test with the pillows. Pretty soft in the first one. Let's see if we have two different types. So they're both on the softer side. Pillowcases and the sheets feel extremely soft. Just the right amount of weight on them. So right over here, you have a another, you have two robes. Ironing board, comforter. What is this? I'm assuming this is the iron up here. Yeah, okay. And more storage space. Bathroom is a pretty good size. This does not close, but the shower is a good space. This stuff is pretty good. And there's plenty of space in the sink for two people to keep their stuff over here. Bottle of lotion mouthwash recently i broke the screen of my tablet that was inside my other stuff backpack when i tried shoving it under a seat on a flight since then i've been mindful of how i pack level eight has several unique and practical pieces of luggage that fit my needs when i travel on this trip i used the roadrunner carry-on in a beautiful blue navy color the back features a unique hard front storage area that easily fits my macbook pro it allows for easy access when going through security also the pouch fully opens with multiple multiple pockets for cables and important documents like passports. The polycarbonate hard shells make the bags light as a feather, and the white handle found on some bags provide great stability. My friends at Level 8 have provided a discount code for our viewers. I've posted the full details in the description below. Use the code RICK10 at checkout for a nice discount. Let's see what our views are. She said this was a French Quarter view. What are your thoughts on the room so far? Well, let's see what we can see. This is the CBD. That's Canal, that's Canal Street, right? Yeah. yeah, so you can't really see. The pool and fitness center are both located on the eighth floor. The gym features mostly cardio equipment consisting of some bikes, including three Pelotons. The strength training is limited to some free weights and just a few machines. One of the reasons to stop at a hotel gym is often they have free water bottles available, or in some cases, water filters to fill your water bottles like this hotel does. The saltwater swimming pool is heated and one of the nicer ones you will find in the city. Check this out. So this is the elevators right here. So our room is right there. All the rooms circle around the elevators. It takes about 15 seconds to walk around the circle of rooms. This is very nice not having a long walk to your elevators after a long day of walking on the street. This is the entrance to the hotel that is located on Common Street. This is where you will want to come in through to check in at the front desk and get assistance with luggage. The lobby area around the front desk looks very luxurious with several areas of seating and during December was nicely decorated for Christmas. It seemed like there was always people hanging around in this lobby at all times of day. You can also wait for the Uber driver outside in this area. This is the hotel back entrance that is located on the Canal Street side and where Uber and Lyft might drop you off. It's also the entrance for the restaurant Fogo de Chao, a Brazilian steakhouse chain that's listed on the JW Marriott as an on-site restaurant for the hotel. We've eaten here on multiple occasions. The food is good, but if you come to New Orleans and want a good steak, then you should try one of the local restaurants like Dickie Brennan's for some local flavor as opposed to a national chain. For dinner, we opted for a local restaurant just a block away. A rainy day has kept us inside all day at the, in the room. We are going to dinner literally like a block away. It's called Luke's. Is this Italian? Oh, it's a Cajun restaurant. It is crowded in here. This is the we don't like you table. <laughs> The menu is mostly seafood and everything we had was really good, especially this crispy Brussels sprout side dish that is made with toasted almonds, honey, feta cheese, and serrano pepper. Unfortunately, the service was completely lacking and left us wondering whether the suggested tip was even warranted. Breakfast is available in the executive lounge for anyone with platinum status or higher. This breakfast spread was pretty good, but for us, it ranks behind what is offered at the Marriott Lounge across the street and the Westin Buffet. Good morning. We just had breakfast at the lounge. It was good. 
not excellent like I remember. That was a little bit disappointing. We didn't sleep last night too well. Our neighbors came in at 3.30 in the morning from the bars and they were pretty loud and we couldn't go back to sleep. I'm sitting at the bar for the hotel and this place is stunning. It's one of the only options for you to get something to eat during the day. The other restaurant for the hotel is the Fogo the Chow. That's technically open for brunch. I don't see it open yet, but it's connected to the hotel. Other than that, there's no official restaurants at the hotel, which is kind of interesting, but you have so many options in, in New Orleans that that's not a problem. I just want to show you some video of this bar. This is one of the most beautiful hotel bars that I've seen for sure. This is an extremely comfortable spot to lounge around in case you have a flight after you check out from your room. There aren't many power outlets in the area, so for that reason, we waited for our 8 p.m. flight in the executive lounge. For me personally, this is such a comfortable hotel to be at. I, I like a mixture of earthy tones and modern. Final thoughts on the property. I believe this is the best luxury value option in the city for Marriott properties. The rooms are comfortable, spacious, and still look great from the 2018 refresh of the property, even though the beds are too firm for our liking. The lounge access is above average with full breakfast offered seven days a week. The hotel is small, which makes it easy to get to the room after a long day. At half the cost, this hotel matches very well versus the Ritz-Carlton New Orleans, which is usually the highest priced Marriott property in the city.